Hello, tonight we're making enchiladas. It's our very first request feature video where we make something that you asked us to make. It was Jesse Lozano and Bryce Brown. So, okay, we can do that. Step one, make a drink. In the spirit of Mexico, we're gonna make a paloma. Salty! Very good. You wanna try it? Okay, for the enchiladas, the first thing you gotta do is make the sauce. So, to make the sauce, you need some chilies. I got guajillos, guajillos, and we gotta trim them up. These are made by El Guapo, the good looking guy. Okay, so, we're gonna use most of them. And what we gotta do is get rid of the stems and the seeds. So, you chop the top. This is really dry. <laughs> by the way, I've, ne I've never done this before. Okay. Spicy smell. <laughs> so I'm gonna chop them up a little bit more. Got so many seeds. Whoa. Okay, what I should have done was preheat this cast iron skillet. You gotta toast them. So we're gonna put on medium, but we're gonna let that heat up a little bit. Okay, so we put the chilies in here. It's gonna take a while to heat up. Keep an eye on those. So while we're waiting on those to heat up, start toasting, we're gonna get the chicken going. So we're just gonna, well, we're gonna turn on our pan so we don't make that mistake again. Just medium. Last time that I put it on high, then I put oil in it. There was like this uncontrollable fire in my house and I burned my hand and the fire like was three feet tall. And I've never had a scarier experience with chicken. So we're gonna be a little more careful this time. Ugh, chicken breast is gross. Ugh, chicken. Get a little olive oil. Chilies are starting to do something, so we're gonna move them around a bit. Oh, that is a sublime drink. Let's get that chicken cooking. Gonna use that Mexican brick oregano, you know that's true. That's my cumin. Oh, cumin! Uh oh. Mm. That happens to me all the time. Oh, yeah. cumin? I don't think that's cumin. Keep your peppers going while you keep looking for the cumin. Oh, they smoking? Oh, they smoking. Turn down that heat. Where the hell's the cumin? What could it be? It's a it's an unmarked bag too, of course. Oh, whatever. Now I'm turning the heat off because they're burning. Where's my cumin? Oh no. I think this is cumin seed. Maybe that'll work. Improvising. Throw some of that in the pan. Throw a couple of that in the chicken. Hope you can find your cumin some other time. God damn it. <laughs> Our favorite Mexican brick oregano for the chicken. A little bit of salt, pepper. You guys want to see a cool party trick? Party trick incoming. You have a hot pan, you throw some alcohol into it, and everything catches on fire. <laughs> oh man, those chilies are brutal. <coughs> What's going on? <coughs> All right, we're gonna put those in a blender. We're not done. We're gonna put our chilies from the pan into the blender and those toasted cumin seed. Get in there. Get a check your out a friendly toss. Okay. Um, onion. I think I'm just gonna blend it with the sauce and then cook the sauce. Still needs half an onion or so. And because you're in a blender, you don't really have to chop it up much. We'll need some tomatoes. We're just gonna quarter them. Okie dokie. Gonna start blending that here in a second. The chicken looks like it's going crazy. Turn that down to low heat. Looking good. Actually, we'll put it in a bowl so it can cool. We almost forgot our friend. Pretty minced garlic. That's going in the sauce for sure. A lot. Now, once I start the blender, you won't be able to hear anything. So it didn't do that much. Time to convince it otherwise. Back to business. Gotta teach you a lesson. There we go. Come back, enchilada sauce. So loud! Oh my ears. Woo! Some spicy sauce, right? Looks kind of like that. And we're gonna cook it down in a pot. Pour it all in there. And I'm actually gonna add some water. Start with, uh, oh crap. Start with medium flame. Make sure you mix that in with the water. So you got pretty nice sauce, it's kind of thick. We'll have more things to add to that in a bit, but for now it's just gotta cook. Now, while well, that's happening, I guess we could chop the chicken. A lot of people like super soft enchiladas. Liquefied chicken, practically. Looking good. It's got some meat there, looks pretty good. It's a rectangle, there's knife. 
And we're gonna put that back in a bowl. That's gonna be our filling for our enchilada. We might put some cheese. Well, we will put some cheese in there. Your sauce needs to cook at least 15 minutes. That tomato gets processed. That was my surprise backup bourbon. Okay, now I need to add some fresh oregano. Nothing Mexican or brick about this. Gonna take some of that, a real good amount. Chop it up nice, throw it in the enchilada sauce. Kinda looks chunky to me, but we'll just let it cook. So I kinda had a resting point. We're gonna have a shot of tequila. Pantalones. <laughs> All right, okay, so. While we took that break, we preheated the oven to 350 degrees. And we need to add some more things to ourselves, like a lemon. We'll add the juice of half a lemon. Juicy. All right, so the oven's preheating. We need to heat up our tortillas. We're using corn this time, but you could use flour if you want. We're just gonna heat up all of them. Spread them out a little bit and throw them in the oven. It won't take too long. Hey. And while we're waiting for that, we can get our finishing garnishes done. It's like, it's like the bourbon just magically appears over and over. I love it. So let's chop our lettuce. All right. Iceberg lettuce. That doesn't look good, but we'll deal with it. Remove that cabbage core. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's plenty of lettuce. Get rid of everything else. Uh, better check on them tortillas. Yeah, they're ready. Some of them are just starting to curl up, which means they're warm enough to work with. We will put them in there like two or three minutes. No longer. You're just warming them up. So here's the most annoying process. This is where you gotta roll it up. So, gotta create an assembly line here. We're just gonna fill them with chicken and cheese. Mexican blend. It's organic. A little bit of chicken. A little bit of cheese. And roll her up. Just rolling them up. This is probably the most labor intensive part. And you're gonna do this like 50 million times. Close enough. We got our enchilada sauce. It's looking great. That's gonna go over the top of everything. Here we go. You can spread it out with your ladle. You just want it to cover everything pretty much. This looks really good. No tortilla left behind. That's what George W. Bush once said. You really can't let this be a healthy dish, so cheese has got to go over the top. We're just gonna do a whole layer of cheese. Come on, cheese. That's all the cheese. I'm gonna bake this whole wonderful thing at least 15 minutes. In she goes. We'll check on that soon. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing now? Oh yeah, so you're gonna need things to top your enchiladas when you're done. Perhaps this sour cream featuring a jumping cow. Perhaps this avocado, which you're yet to slice. Perhaps some cilantro for Mexican flavor. It's a ripe avocado. We go around the world in one day. Whoa, mama. It's long and skinny and kind of weird. I don't know if I have the motor skills for this right now. Ugh. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. No esta perfecto. También después. These are various words in Spanish. <laughs> la cebolla y la lechuga están en mis pantalones. Yeah, you got your avocado, okay. All right, flash it up nice. Okie dokie. Some cilantro. Okie dokie. I'm taking a look. At what? The enchiladas. I think it's done. Let's call it a day. Look at that, that beautiful enchilada. Do I have a drink? Might be over here. Gotta drink the drink. Go crap them out of the drink. Better make another drink with the tequila. <laughs> it's good! I thought I had a spatula. Oh, there it is. Think the enchiladas are ready to eat. Let's try them out. Oh, baby. It's okay if they fall apart. They weren't gonna stay together anyways. You don't throw. That is. Avocado. Spoon for the sour cream. Let's try those enchiladas. Mmm, that's good. Let's eat some more. Mm. That's how you make the enchiladas. Whatever your names were. Lasagna. Mm. Jorge. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>